The Gaja Babila makes frothing milk drinks a breeze thanks to its one-touch frothing carafe. But there's more to the equation than just the carafe. The Babila is unique among super automatic machines in that it also offers the ability to froth milk manually. So in this segment, we'll be taking a look both at brewing at the push of a button, making drinks like cappuccinos using our carafe, but also how you would froth milk using that manual wand or dispense water for things like teas or Americanos. To start things off, we'll take a look at the auto frothing carafe on the Bobula. Now, I've got it locked into the machine, but I'll show you how it comes out. So we have the bottom carafe here, which has our min and max fill lines, the top assembly, and then the frothing arm. So one thing to note, we do have our tabs here to give a little squeeze to to lift this top part off. But on the arm, and this is just really important if you're going to disassemble this, you do have a little clip here that locks the top of the arm in place like this. So if you ever want to take the top off, swing that out, and then you can lift the top of the carafe off. Now, when we lock it in, you can see these two holes line up with those two little pipes there. And then we have a little space down here that we want to just have lined up with that notch. And we've got a beep confirming that we've successfully inserted the carafe. So we'll go ahead and get our spouts up. And basically, when we want to make our drink, we'll swing the arm out. Let me grab a cup. Let's say that we want to program a cappuccino. Now, we can go into the beverage menu like we did with our coffee drinks, but I prefer the push and hold method, which we can use for our milk drinks too, where we will both program the amount of milk that's dispensed and the amount of coffee. Now, let's go ahead and swing our arm out, and we will push and hold our cappuccino. And by clicking stop, we have now programmed our milk. One thing I wanted to mention is that if you want to reduce milk heat up time, you can always disable the eco mode in the Bobula's menu. So we've programmed our drink, but now let's take a look at what we can do to keep the machine in nice working order. We'll go ahead and swing the arm back over the handle. The carafe is now going to automatically quick clean itself. And with that, we have programmed and brewed a delicious one-touch cappuccino using the Gaja Babila. We've taken a look at making a one-touch specialty milk drink using our carafe, but let's also see now how we would use the steam wand. That's going to be with the special drinks button. Now, by pressing this, you can see we have a number of additional drink options that aren't available just with our buttons here. So we can see steam is actually option number three, but to go over all of them, we have the ristretto, which is another short espresso drink, and espresso macchiato, which is a small espresso with just a little bit of milk in there, and the flat white. Now to select steam, we'll simply click the steam button. For any of these other drinks, however, if we want to push and hold program them like we did with these buttons, simply move your cursor over your... Ooh, not giving me enough time there, I'm not fast enough. Move your cursor over that drink, push and hold the confirmation check, and you will enter memory mode. Now that we've covered our special drinks, let's go ahead and actually froth some milk. So I'll get the carafe out of the way here and shed a tear for my convenient one-touch frothing. And I'll go ahead and get that spout cover and put that on. So before we start frothing, I do want to talk a little bit about what you'll need. Now, 
you do want something called a frothing pitcher. This is a stainless steel pitcher that's used specifically to froth milk for coffee drinks. Now, generally speaking, if you're going to be making a drink with the Bobula here, I would assume that it will probably require about six to eight ounces of frothed milk. It's important that you have the correct size pitcher for your frothing, because what's gonna happen is we'll be positioning this pitcher under the wand, and its position relative to the surface of the milk is going to determine how we actually inject our air in there and start frothing. So we wanna be able to get a good angle and we also want to make sure that we can get close enough to the bottom. If you're using an extra large pitcher, say like this one, you'll have a really hard time being able to froth properly. But we do have a use for this pitcher. If you're ever going to steam using the manual wand, one thing that you want to do first is actually purge it out. There's always going to be just a little bit of water that's condensed in this line. So we'll go ahead to our special drinks menu again and we'll click steam. And this will take a moment to heat up the first time, but the second time it will go much faster. And so steam, please wait. And as you can see, just a little bit of that condensation is now out of the line. We'll hit stop and go ahead and get our pitcher in place now. So we'll get that at a nice little angle, get the tip submerged in the milk and go back into our special drinks and select steam again. Now, your goal is to try to add air to the milk, which you can hear that little tearing sound. That's bubbles basically being produced in the foam. And you'll froth until it gets to be just a little too hot to hold. Now, the amount of air you add is going to change the texture for, say, something like a cappuccino versus a creamier drink like a latte. Now, we do want to go ahead, though, and also purge out our wand just to get any milk residue out of there. So we'll go back to special drinks one more time and we'll go to hot water. Now, in addition to being useful for purging, we can program our hot water to dispense an amount, say, for a tea that we would want to make every day or maybe water for that Americano. But once we've got a nice clear stream there, we'll go ahead and hit stop. And now I'll brew a espresso and we can see how my manually frothed milk looks compared to the milk from the carafe. So actually, I'm Good there with the spouts, so we'll just go ahead and brew. And so we have the coffee shop on our countertop and I can still be a home barista.